the syringe slides in between thumb and forefinger. Then, with a click, a microchip is injected into the employee's hand. Another cyborg is created. What could happen to a dystopian view of the workplace is almost a routine at the epicenter of the Swedish StarCube. The company offers to deploy its workers and startup members with microchips the size of rice grains that work like magnetic stripe cards, to open doors, operate printers, or buy shakes with a handshake. Injections have become so popular that workers in the epicenter retention parts of those who are willing to get implanted. The biggest benefit I think is convenience. As a demonstration, a door is simply opened by waving near it. It basically replaces a lot of things you have, other communication devices, whether it's credit cards or keys. The technology itself is not new. Such chips are used as virtual pet collar plates. Companies use them to track deliveries. It is never simply used to label employees on a wide scale before. Epicenter A handful of other companies are the first to make the chip implants widely available. And as with most new technologies, it raises issues of security and privacy. Although biologically secure, the data generated by the chips can show how often an employee comes to work or what they buy. Unlike business magnetic cards or smartphones, which can generate the same data, a person cannot easily separate themselves from the chip. 